My number one tip is to find your eyebrows. Your eyebrows help frame your face and anchor your whole look. And there's plenty of products out there to choose from. I use a powder and brush because I think it's a more natural look, but creams and pencils work as well. If you have light eyelashes, you'll want mascara. And for eyeliner, this may be tough to hear, but if you're over 40, no under eye eyeliner. I'm only repeating what my personal professional makeup artist said. And what she explained is that as we age, all the skin under our eyes uh, gets thinner and then putting black eyeliner or any eyeliner just draws more attention to the bags and wrinkles. So I didn't tell you, she did. If you're going out for the evening and going for dramatic look, great, but use with caution. As for additional makeup for a photo shoot, the fairer your skin is, the more powder you're going to need. And so I usually have some kind of neutral translucent with me on set. If you're a person of color, the natural oils in your skin can create beautiful highlights. So that's one less thing that you'll have to worry about. In general, I prefer a more natural look on camera, but that natural should reflect your personality. The talent with me in this photo who showed up on camera ready for our shoot had much more makeup than I would wear and she looked terrific on camera. My advice is to sit down with a professional and have them help you create a look that you're comfortable with. As for lipstick, I usually prefer a more muted shade so that we look at your whole face and not just your lips. But if a bright red is your signature color, by all means go for it. I personally love a bright lipstick and minimal eye makeup for my everyday camera ready look. But when I'm actually going to be on camera in a close-up, I go for something more natural.